Hi everyone. So I'm Carrie. I'm the guy who writes most of the BFDI episodes, and I just wanted to point out something new I discovered. So I'm sure some of you know about the video that I made a long time ago that's called First BFDI Animation Ever. And you can see it's sitting right here in my like old this is an archived hard drive that I used to have back in 2011. Anyway, this file called fireymusicvideo.swif is that first BFDI animation. So if I double click, it's that music video with a football and blocky. And a boop, 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 kick, 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 boop, boop, boop. Crank, 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 crank. Yeah, so it's pretty, pretty groovy, you know, something you can really dance to, I guess. But anyway, that came out um, February 2009, as you can see here. So that was 10 months before BFDI showed up on YouTube. But I found a BFDI-related flash file that's even older. So if we scroll down, actually we don't scroll down at all. At all. See, fiery.fla is from February 20th, 2009. So that's a week earlier. And what is it? Well, before I show you what fiery.fla is, let me show you this thing called dumbshow.fla. And this is from around the same weekend, or I don't know if it's a weekend or a week, but it was just a couple days before or after. And this is the Super Short Stick Figure Show, which is something that's been on hwins.net for a very long time. And I mean, I'm not going to show all of it right now, but it's like three second animations. And they came out in 2009, so it's like Vine before Vine happened, but not really. They're all stupid. But the reason I bring this up is because I made this in part because I was into Fred back in the day. Okay, I wasn't really into Fred. I know that's super cringy content, but Fred was the most subscribed YouTuber, and I went to his website where he was selling merchandise and all that, and I was really in awe at these buttons that he had at the bottom of the screen. Each button led to one Fred video, but the buttons would grow as you move your mouse towards them. And I was like, that's a really cool effect. So I coded it myself in Flash, as you can see here, when I get close to a button, it grows. And like, I'm not sure if Lucas, the guy behind Fred, coded that himself or if he just used some template to make the website. But, you know, I decided I wanted to make my own version of it, which is why you see these buttons change sizes. So this is something I made for the Super Short Stick Figure Show, which is the first time I used that code. But I reused that code in Fiery.fla, which again, came out before the fiery music video that I have touted as the, the first BFDI animation ever. So what is fiery.fla? Well, it looks like this. So we have 20 buttons on the screen, and they change, change sizes, and the closer my mouse is to one, the bigger it is. So as you can see, we've got blocky as the first option, bubble, and coiny. And as you can expect, my plan was to fill out all 20 of these buttons with one BFDI character because there are only 20 BFDI characters at the time, but I only got through three because I'm very bad at finishing projects that I start. So if we click, click on Blocky, we get a description of what I thought Blocky's personality was back in 2009. So I said, Blocky is a building block. He is probably the worst one of the whole group at following rules. He always just ends up in jail. By the way, it seems like Gelatin has taken that spot because Gelatin's the only person to have canonically ended up in jail. Many people are scared of Blocky, that should have been capitalized, especially Woody. Not everyone though. Blocky is friends with Eraser, Coney, and Snowball. Uh, still, he isn't the best person or building block to hang around with. So this is all before the concept of battling for Dream Island even existed. So in this universe, the characters kind of exist in a place without competition. They're just kind of, you know, chilling around. They're just living their lives in Goiki. Who knows? Anyway, it seems like a lot of his personality traits carried over. He still is friends with uh, Eraser and Snowball, I guess. And Coiny, well, if you looked at some of the Total Fiery Island videos, you could see that Coiny is kind of in that gang as well. And also, during the Bridge Crossing episode, Coney and Snowball talk to each other a lot as well, so it's all connected. But I think if you click on Coney, it takes you, yeah, it takes you to Coney. So what's cool is if you go back to the main menu, you can click on Coney to get to Coney's page, or you can click, 
go back to Blocky's page and click on Coiny from here. So it's kind of like Wikipedia links, you know, that I coded within the whole ecosystem of this, this like BFDI character guide. So we can also click next to go to Bubble, who's the next one alphabetically. Bubble is a very nice little bubble. Okay, that didn't tell me much. She will always help if she can. Unfortunately, she's isolophobic, which means she's scared of being alone. Lucky for her, no one will ever know because if they're there, Bubble will not be alone. Oh, ha, 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 that's so funny. Bubble is friends with Match, Pencil, and Ice Cube. Oh, this is interesting. So, the reason why I think it's interesting is because the, the alliance that everyone knows about from BFDI, which is Match, Pencil, and Bubble, before BFDI started, it was a group of four like female characters that I thought were the like popular clique. But then near the end of Total Fiery Island, in a book that I cannot find, there's some sort of disagreement and Ice Cube gets cast out of the group. And basically, in the first episode of BFDI, Ice Cube already gets cast out of the group by wanting to join the Alliance and then knocking everyone off the balance beam. So it's almost as if Ice Cube ne was never a member of that friend clique in the first place. But she was! So in February 2009, Bubble was friends with all these three people equally. Also, I can see that the C here is like squished horizontally because it wouldn't fit with this back button otherwise. Also, in fifth grade, I was really obsessed with phobias in the sense that I would document phobias. There was a website that would list thousands of phobias and I would write them down, sort them. I even wrote a book that was like 40 pages. It wasn't actually a book. It was just paper with Pen, my pen writing on it, and I gave that to my friend as a birthday gift, which is kind of interesting. <laughs> but anyway, this is what Bubble was like before Battle for Dream Island begun. And then let's just go on to the last character page, to Coiny, where I say, Coiny misbehaves a lot. He's the mischievous type. Not as bad as Blocky, but still pretty bad. Weird that I would say that someone who's mischievous is bad. They're different adjectives, Carrie. He doesn't have a best friend, but he gets along with Snowball, Blocky, and Eraser pretty well. Although Coiny hates school stuff, he is great at spelling. He got second place after match. That's also something that you could have seen in the Total Fire Island books. I think that one did get did end up getting uploaded to YouTube. Coiny and Fiery are enemies now because they got into a fight because Coiny forgot Fiery's poison, water. So this did happen after Total Fire Island, so that event of Fiery and Coiny starting to hate each other just because Coiny forgot that Fiery hated water. That whole thing started because of that single event, and you can see that it, it's laid out in this Wikipedia page as well. Yeah, if you click on the people who don't have link, if you click on the people who don't have articles yet, it doesn't lead anywhere, but if you click on Blocky, it probably takes you, yeah, to Blocky. So anyway, this is all that there really is to show you. There's nothing left, or nothing else that I had time to do. But I think this is really crazy to look at because if we're talking about February 2009, I was 11 years old. And so when I was making these things, the only people in the universe who even knew of these characters were my brother Michael and me. So I just feel like it's crazy that I was committed enough to write all these about these characters that are essentially non-existent in the general, you know, human ecosystem, you know? It was only within my mind and Michael's. Also, one thing I noticed is that the character names, so it says Blocky here, those are not text. They were turned into shapes and then optimized, which means that I lowered the polygon count of the shapes. And by that I mean, if you look at Bubble, so the inside of this lowercase b, you can see there's some straight edges when it should be a round ellipse, and that's because some of the polygons were removed. And it's even clearer with Coiny, so the edge of this O has some jaggedness to it. And I don't know why, but I must have intentionally broken apart the text box into shapes and then lowered the polygon count of the shapes. I don't know why, because I don't think it's laggy on the computer or anything. Maybe I liked the aesthetic of slightly jagged text. So this is pretty cool to look at. Um, also, everything here is using old assets. As you can see, we've got the really blobby looking eye that never showed up in BFDI. This was phased out even before the first season began, but then we have the old fashioned limbs that did show up in BFDI from episodes one to eight. So 
I'm sure you all know that in episode 9, the limbs changed to a much cleaner look that they kept all the way through the end of the FDIA. And then, okay, Coiny is like waving his arm like really fast here, but that's just because Michael had created a whole batch of assets for me to use. And I remember he had this graphic of the waving hand, and I just wanted to use as many of them as possible to really kind of make this, um, this character guide as spiced up as possible. So... That, that was my opportunity to use that. Also, like this is a looping animation of Blocky, and I'm really impressed that I was able to make his mouth transition from clothes to teeth. I mean, it's not the smoothest transition, but it's something. You know, most Wikipedia articles only have still image, images to show you what the characters looked like, but I was more advanced. And Bubble, she goes through mm, ooh, ah, mm, ooh, ah. It's like she's saying the word pwop. Prop. She's saying prop. She's just a prop in this in this um, dog-eat-dog world. I don't know what I'm saying. So yeah, okay, thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.